what an absolutely stunning day today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and it's just looking like a really, really good day. So I'm excited. We have a lot again on the agenda. What's new? <laughs> First up though, let me take you back to breakfast time. I made our favorite blueberry muffin because yes, it is blueberry season and we have boxes of blueberries right now, which is absolutely incredible. It's one of my favorite fruits ever. So I'm gonna share that recipe with you right off the bat. I'll put the recipe in the description box below so you can access easily, but it is adapted from one of my all-time favorite cookbooks. I'll link it below. It's the Food from the Heart cookbook, but I do make quite a bit of changes to it, so I'll put my recipe down below, but they also have a really good one. So to start off with, I'm going to put one cup of softened butter, two cups of maple syrup into the bowl, and we'll just blend that up. And then I'll add four eggs and a tablespoon of vanilla. And then we'll also beat that in with the butter mixture. And then I'm going to take four and a half cups, four and a half to five cups of flour and a pinch of salt and four and a half teaspoons of baking powder as well as three quarter cup of whole milk. And then I'm just gonna blend that all together. Try not to over mix it, but I did use my egg beater. And I'm gonna wash up fresh blueberries. You guys, I'm so excited for blueberry season. I'm gonna put five cups of fresh blueberries into the mixture. We'll mix it just until it's combined. And then we're gonna put it into the muffin tins. And I filled them really full, like all the way to the top. So I got 24 muffins out of this recipe. For the streusel topping, I did one cup of flour, one cup oatmeal, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon cinnamon, and then a half cup of butter and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then I baked them at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes and they were so, so good. My outfit today is this dress from Neuroflora, I think. I'm not sure if they still have it on their website, but if they do, I will link it below. It has the buttons all the way down the front, which are functioning, so great for nursing mamas. And then it's lined right down till here. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder They're getting big how come the sky is sometimes you hides behind the clouds? You can Maybe. pick it. First cabbage ready. Looks like something's been enjoying it, so we'll have to take some of the outer leaves off. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> can you get it? Are you going to pull out the root or what? It won't know. grow another cabbage, so it's okay if the root comes out. Pull it out. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Oh, you got it. Good job, bud. But now you need to get these leaves off so you can actually pick the ball. <laughs> off. There's more cabbages growing in there. It looks like little teeny <laughs> ones. Ooh. Mm. How does this look? It's stinky, though. <laughs> it can be pretend food. <laughs> wow, that's a nice one, bud. <laughs> tongue, tongue, tongue. Cool. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is mine, cabbage. That's a big cabbage. It's mine. So, it's how are we going to eat that whole thing? <laughs> cabbage is on my face, too. I'm going to go Yeah. I think this time. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. Yes. 
I look at Weston Bell. I look at Weston Bell. I think it won't fit in there. <laughs> I'll put him on me. Maybe I can do it. I know. When it's dark, what are you eating, Abby? So far away, show us where we go. <laughs> No, it's fiercely bright out here. I hope you guys can even see anything, but I'm working on tying up the cucumbers as well as the tomatoes. And I think I've mentioned it on either here or Instagram before, but I use these tomato vine clips. You can get, this is a 500 piece. I think it's like $8 at a local greenhouse supply store. So they're super inexpensive, but work really well with clipping up the tomato vines. So we just have this stake in the middle of each of the tomato plants. And then I just train it up with these little clips. Yeah, right here with these little clips. And sometimes if the stems are getting too big, I will just tie them onto each other. Basically I want everything to go upright and then I'll trim the bottom leaves again because circulation is super important in order to avoid like blight or disease or anything. So. That's what we're working on. It looks like one of them actually is dumping over its stake here. So we'll have to straighten that out. Oh, Leslie, do you want to show us the big cucumber that you found? Yeah. Whoa, that's like a Goliath cucumber. Thank <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you. It makes me wonder. some of the last minute stuff on my video that's going live today so I basically have a couple things to fill out in the description box some links to add and stuff so that's what I'm working on now and yes I did get changed Abby sat on my lap for lunch and I got raspberry stains all over <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get that out so that's what happened there but I'll take a couple minutes to finish this and then post it and then I like to be pretty present at least in the first hour after a video goes live, answering comments and chatting with you guys and stuff. So this will be fun. See? Almost got my knee. Look like. Okay. What's this deep? Oh, my legs are cooling off. Mommy, it's this deep. Abby, it doesn't go in there. The crab. Just picked up some dill at a little local Amish store for pickles, which we need to do again. And then I also want to stop in another little local Amish store. It's funny because some of these places you would have no idea that it's a store if you weren't local and knew where the places were because they literally have no sign and they'll have the house that they live in up front and then what looks like just their garage or something it's actually a store so <laughs> i know when josh and i first got married and we went there first i was like wait are you serious are you sure that's a store <laughs> Sure enough, it's a store. Anyway, I want to stop in there and pick up some stickers for a little reward system that I'm setting up for the kiddos. vlogging today going about normal homemaking things and yet my heart feels so heavy today just a great big old lump in my throat last week a guy that has come to the farm things whatever farm related good friend of Josh's got killed in a tree cutting accident then yesterday a friend's son drowned 
six-year-old little boy, as well as the son of our friends from church, their relatives, another family, the father committed suicide this weekend, and the world just feels so heavy right now. There's so much pain, grief, hurt, and sometimes it's just hard to know how to handle it, and I don't feel like I know how to handle it. If you think of all these families, please pray for them. I just cannot imagine what they're going through. I don't have anything to wrap this talk up in a pretty ribbon. It's just real pain that people I know are going through right now. So if you think of it, please, please pray for them. Okay, I still did not get my green beans pick. Obviously with all this going on today, my motivation has been definitely less than normal. <laughs> Usually I love to just tackle my to-do list but I'm still gonna try to get some of this going. I think we're gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for following along today. Let me know in the comments below what you are working on today. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Golden, golden thing.